day one of kid quarantine. I had to come to the store for essentials. This one seems up my alley. Like I said, it's Monday. It's the first day of being housebound with all three kids and it doesn't look good already. They're all already losing their minds. Everybody's stir crazy. Uh, they were, I heard the words, I'm bored so many times today. My hair is like nuts right now. As you can tell, it's kind of getting long, kind of growing it out again. Um, anyway, I need to dye my beard. Look at this mess. Yeah, that's right, I color my beard. I'm not ashamed. It's my one vanity, allow me one vanity. Um, because I went to the grocery store, because we needed stuff, we really did. I wouldn't have gone just to be frivolous, but I also did need to get out of the house for a few minutes, so. I said I felt like I was on The Walking Dead, so I, I told my son, my teenage son, I'm like, all right, you're in charge. Lock the doors, nobody in or out till I get back. It felt like I was on The Walking Dead, like getting ready to go out and face zombies, so. This quarantine thing is gonna be long. We even attempted to try to get them to put a puzzle together to combat the boredom, but, uh, I mean, they did pretty good on Buddy. But uh, there's a lot more to go, and they gave up the ship. But we got plenty of time to work on it, right? I'm attempting chicken tacos for the first time. At least the first time doing it like this. We normally make them in a slow cooker, so I don't know how this is gonna go yet. Okay, so here's the final outcome. I'm gonna try a piece. Find a little piece here. Since I'm doing the low carb thing, I might just make a salad with these, but the rest of my family can have tacos. It's okay. A little bland, it needs a little something. Do you want a little, little Taco Bell fire sauce? Be all right. You know, you can only be quarantined for so long before you gotta get some fresh air. And it is a beautiful day. So we came to the park. There's actually more kids there than I expected. I hope my kids are keeping their social distance. I had to run back to the car because I needed wet wounds. Hopefully they're keeping their hands away from their faces too. Funny thing is, they don't, the one time they don't have to go to school, we're right back at their school. It's a hybrid sport. What? I think of introducing it to the Olympics though. You heard of basketball? This is basket tennis? Uh, there you go. And it's stuck. <laughs> I just learned a hard lesson here, folks. Do not use these to wipe off your phone. You'll get a nasty film all over your screen. Ugh, I gotta get home and use like actual glass cleaner now. Okay, now I know, but my phone is sanitized. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. Since it's St. Patrick's Day, I boiled up a nice fatty corned beef for myself. I need to trim all this fat off, but I had to try it. It's delicious. <laughs> Threw it in the slow cooker with water and beer. Just since I'm the only one in this family that'll eat corned beef, I got some strip steaks on the grill too. Put that guy over. It's hard to do one handed. Now, let's season them with some garlic, salt, and pepper. Our grill is busted, so you'll notice I don't have these burners on. I can only use this one side. This one completely doesn't work. This one barely works. Luckily, when we move, we're not taking this with us. I well, don't luckily, but the point is when we move, we're not taking the grill with us, but I'm gonna get whatever life out of it I can. So happy St. Patrick's Day. Slauncha. It's not Guinness, but it's for the cause. That's party time. I forgot about Wednesday. It's 
It's 5.51 on two... Oh, see? It's 5.51 on Thursday morning. Usually when I'm up this early in the car, it's because I'm going to the airport. Often to go someplace cool. Today, I'm just going to the grocery store to try to get ground beef and toilet paper before all the hoarders go out and buy it all up for their doomsday prepping shelters. So, pretty exciting. So, came here for our chicken. And came here for ground beef, which would usually be here. That's a nice clean shelf, by the way, Jewel. Got lots of corned beef left from St. Patrick's Day, but no hamburger. Unless you want Beyond Beef. Which, uh, it seems like not many people do because... I mean, I guess if you get desperate enough... They got it. Look at these sweet little Japanese, like, treat boxes that my grocery store has. This isn't my normal one. I went to a different store than I usually go to. Whoops, that was a terrible shot, sorry. The one by the one that's a little close to my house doesn't have any of this. Okay, I just left the grocery store. See it? Uh, it wasn't my usual location. I thought we we thought I'd have better luck if I came to a different one a little further up the road, but not really. I think I got about 85 to 90% of my list, if if that. Maybe that's being generous. Uh, I did manage to score one pack of ground beef. That's mince for you folks in the UK, as I hear Gary call it. Because uh, and they're like real, they're keeping it behind the del the butcher counter, and you got to ask for it. I saw it. I was like, are those spoken for? It's like I can give you one. I'm like, okay, right on. It's like we're doing a deal here. Uh, but I was looking for chicken. They don't have any chicken. Like it's like our our order hasn't come in. Our, our load hasn't come in. So people are hoarding chicken now, too. Uh, so if you wanted to make chicken breasts or grilled chicken or whatever, good luck. Um, my wife makes this dish that's, it's I don't know how it is. It's like Uncle Ben's wild rice and chicken. It needs cream of mushroom soup and cream of celery soup and I don't know what else. And then you just kind of cook it all in like a, like a casserole dish. It's delicious. It really is. Uh, but obviously the key ingredient there is chicken. So... You have to go find some chickens to slaughter. I'm just kidding. Relax. Or uh, I'm gonna try another. I'm gonna try Aldi actually, because Aldi is my jam. I also was supposed to get some home run in frozen pizzas. They were completely wiped out. Their frozen pizza selection was eh. So I'm gonna make one more stop. It's it's ten to eight already. I gotta start work at nine. Uh, you saw what time I left the house. So I've literally been gone for two hours, and I'm really not even done yet. So. These are strange days, people. Look, the supply lines are not going to run out. You can stop this. The only reason there's shortages is because people are hoarding things. Stop it. Stop it. I know you guys aren't. You're not those kind of people. When I pulled up, there was a car parked in front of me, and a guy came out of the store with a big old pack of, like, 16 rolls of toilet paper, threw him in the car, and went back in. And then later, I saw him in line with his wife buying more toilet paper because there's a limit. They're trying to be shady, and divide and conquer and get all the toilet They're, they're going to have a monopoly on toilet paper. Guys, we're not going to run out of toilet paper. And this is not that kind of disease. It's not that kind of virus. There will be toilet paper. And if there's not, guess what? There's this little thing right next to the toilet where you usually use the toilet paper. There's this, like, looks kind of like a booth, if you will, with a curtain. It's called a shower. In the worst case scenario, you can just get in there and take care of business. So, anyway... People are strange when you're a stranger. I don't know if you can tell, but it's rather froggy today as well. And this is like dissipated from when I first left the house, so it's kind of weird. But hey, it ain't snowing. What's up, everybody? It's Friday, March 20th. It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, I am, we're living in strange days. I'm taking my wife some lunch because slash dinner, whatever you want to call it at three o'clock, because 
She's decided to work as late as she can today to get in as many clients as she can in because the governor of Illinois just ordered a lockdown. Look how black my beard is on this side and how much lighter it is over here. I got to deal. At some point during this lockdown, I got to do something about this because I look 100 right now. Um, but so we're going on lockdown as of tomorrow, which means my wife can't work anymore. She's self-employed. She's gainfully self-employed, but it's the kind of job she has to be there to make money. And she can't be there with one lockdown and it involves direct, you know, interaction with other humans. So, you know, it's, it sucks. I get it, but it still sucks. So, but anyway, I'm taking her food right now and she also wants a Starbucks and so do I. So I'm in line for Starbucks and check this out. So there's a Tesla in front of me. That's nice. And then there's a Yukon and then Jeep and then, 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 and there's Starbucks way, way over there. This is the line for the drive up at Starbucks. I guess everybody's wife needs lunch and Starbucks at the same time. Yeah, well, we're getting there. I really should have peed before I left. It's Friday night, so we're getting pizza from our local, but man, with the, with the lockdown starting tomorrow, they're doing one in, one out because <laughs> it's just a carry out place so it's chilly out there there was about six people waiting when i got here so but oop, got my pizza we're good to go what pepperoni 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 and black olive my favorite and sausage no the sausage is here oh half sausage half cheese just how we do it see everybody thinks we only eat deep dish in chicago it is not wow. true Huh? This. All right, I'll give it to you. Hold on. Mmm, mmm, that pizza was delicious. So there you go, folks. Another boring weekly video. But you know what's not boring? My new book, Emily Moonlight. Come on, you knew that was coming. It's available now on Amazon, exclusively at Amazon. Emily Moonlight by B. Andrew Scott, my pen name. Uh, again, yes, it's a horror story. Yes, it deals with m classic monsters of sorts. Uh, but it's it, in a different way, uh, I think. And uh, it's not, I mean, it's, if, you, if you don't normally read horror, this is a great introduction. It's not like, it's not going to mess you up. It's not going to give you nightmares. Yes, there's a little gore, but it's got a lot more heart. Uh, I think you'll love it. I think it's fun. I think it's funny. A little scary, a little exciting, a little ooh la la. Uh, I think you'll dig it. Again, it's not for the kids. This is not the Cats of the Castle by any means, but... Pick it up, I think you'll enjoy it. Look, what are you gonna do? We're all on lockdown right now. How much YouTube can you watch? Well, I mean, hopefully all of this, but otherwise, how much YouTube are you gonna watch? You've binged everything on Netflix. Disney Plus hasn't put anything good and new up in a while. Get, get my book, I promise you'll love it, or you'll have to read it again, and maybe the second time you'll love it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Please go to Amazon, get the book. If you already have it, I'd really appreciate if you give it a five-star review. We've already got a dozen. It's pretty good. Can we bump it up to 20? I'm counting on you guys. Thanks. I'll talk to you soon.